Hello and welcome to Tropics Today. Today is January 5th, 2017, and it is 9.40 Universal Time. We currently have Tropical Disturbance 6F active at 9.4 degrees south, 164 degrees east, which puts it right about here. It has not moved very much since yesterday. Although the Fiji Meteorological Service is putting it, moving it around quite a bit, they are not able to locate the center very well. Uh, the location confidence is poor, so it's been moving around all today, pretty much since it's been active. Uh, but it's located somewhere in this region. And that is the only currently active tropical cyclone. We have some other disturbances though. In fact, we have four different invests currently that are tagged by the Joint Typhoon Warning Center. We have 90B still in the North Indian. We have 94S still. Um, also, also probably 9U, an internal Bureau of Meteorological designation. We also have 95S, which is probably 10U. And we have 96P. Uh, these two systems were just tagged through, uh, within the last 24 hours. Um, although 10U has existed for about a day or two already. Uh, in the Australian region, just south of this is the island of Java that you can see. And 96P is over Queensland. Somewhere around here, just off the coast. Okay, so here is the GFS model run from Zero Universal Time today. You can see three of the tagged invests in this Indian Ocean view. We have 90B, 95S, and 94S. So we will start with 94S, which is currently producing uh, thunderstorms over Western Australia near Derby and Broome. Uh, you can't really see it because it's over land on this and the isobars aren't showing up properly. But if we go through here, this model run produces almost a complete ring of gale force winds around the center of, of 94S, which is interesting. I would not entirely expect that to verify, but it's possible. Another thing to note is that the the model runs have been very consistent across models and throughout the past few days that this system is very likely not going to pass over the coastline and into the southeast Indian Ocean. That is... I would not expect it to happen. Most likely the system will stay over land and will stay below tropical storm force, although um, we might see some tropical cyclone advices or technical bulletins issued by the Bureau of Meteorology sometime on Friday or Saturday Australian time. So here is the Bureau of Meteorology's Met Eye. You can see the radar imagery of 94S as well as surface observations of the wind speed and direction. Unlike yesterday's, there's not a very obvious center of circulation, although it's kind of hard to tell with the lack of observations in this region. When it was further to the northeast, yesterday we could see pretty obviously whether it was there, as well as earlier today um, when the storm was located closer to Derby. It was not very obvious whether there was a closed center of circulation on this storm. As you can see here, some lines of thunderstorms, which will be the significant threat from this system. As there is a lot of potential for rain to be produced by this system. We can just go back here for a second and see the 24-hour 
accumulated precipitation from the system will approach uh, the 200 to 300 millimeter range uh, just off the coast here according to the GFS which uh, around Broome they could see 200 millimeters of rain on Friday Australian time this system will move west of course if it does go over water this system is very organized in fact let us bring that up here you can see here that it has a well-established upper anticyclone which in combination with its organization that we can see here it's fairly organized a little sheared all the convection seems to be to the southwest of the center but it's fairly organized if it gets over water a category one tropical cyclone on the Australian scale would not be unlikely at all but as I mentioned before the models do not seem to be showing that this would be the case so here is the tropical cyclone outlook for the western region from the Australian Bureau of Meteorology and they're showing a low likelihood of formation from the system near Broome 94S heavy rainfall gusty winds and flooding is likely in this region but yesterday this was showing a moderate likelihood of formation but now it's low um, as the as the event draws closer and it seems increasingly likely that the system will not pass over water in addition 95s has very low to low chance in the next three days of becoming a tropical cyclone now we move on to this disturbance in the north indian its organization has not particularly increased since yesterday indian meteorological department is giving a has actually tagged this system as a low pressure area that has a probability of cyclogenesis and gives a moderate chance of formation in the next 24 to 48 hours in 48 to 72 hours there is a high chance if we go back to the models we can see the system forming on the GFS and staying a relatively weak cyclonic storm although the system will approach Myanmar and could have the potential for significant impacts there alternatively the system could track further to the west or even dissipate before it reaches the location but rainfall will always be a threat even with the dissipating system in the North Indian Ocean now here we have the Euro model it is a little more vigorous and further south with the formation of the disturbance uh, both models do seem to be showing this interesting loop uh, or in the Euro just this southerly oscillation within the gyre before it moves to the north the Euro keeps it a little west of GFS but they are at roughly the same intensity maybe a little stronger in the short term as in about three days from now but not as it approaches landfall and it does not do anything significantly different here with the low over Western Australia lastly we have 96 P in the in the Coral Sea region of the Australian region which could develop uh, we see this interesting small system that the GFS develops although the Euro is not quite as enthusiastic about the system but it takes this easterly track for 
about four days before turning to the west and dissipating before landfall. The Bureau of Meteorology does not give this system very good odds for formation, although they do note its existence. That's about it for the tropics today. Join us tomorrow for another analysis of the worldwide tropics. See ya.